Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, so welcome back to another episode. We've got something rather interesting and rather special today. Um, yesterday was my wife's birthday. Um, as one of her birthday presents, I've ordered her some tarantulas on the neck from a company called Bitey Things. I've never ordered from them before. I don't know what they're like. I've heard good things. Uh, so we're gonna do a bit of an unboxing today, but it's gonna be an unboxing with a difference. As it's my wife's birthday, um, and she's watched me do this dozens and dozens of times in the past. I thought it would be really nice as they are her spiders uh, if she did the unboxing herself. So very shortly we're going to switch places and the unboxing is going to be done today by my lovely wife. So unboxing the spiders, my wife's going to have a bash at doing that herself. I'm going to keep quiet. She's going to open them up, have a look. Uh, she may have some comments to make about the packaging and how she feels it was to unbox. Um, and then when it comes to putting them into their new homes, just there um, I will probably be giving some pointers while we're while we're doing it so uh, yeah I hope you enjoy um, and I'll hand over now to my wife so we're just gonna very, very carefully oh, look you'll be pleased it's newspaper I'm not packing chips. <laughs> So three, do you want to tell them what you've got? So, um, it's a carabina. That's the colour. It's nicely labelled on my little pot there. My favourite tranches. Well, one of the many. Um, this one is a H. maculata. So it's the um, H. mac Togo Starburst. It's a bit messy. And this one is... An adult female holotheliensi or neo holotheliensi. Incy, incy spider. Okay, so I guess we need to see if these little guys are all alive and well. So if we start with the two small ones, because they don't have sellotape on, I have got my pot inside a catch tub just in case she does a bolt or it does a bolt. Uh, I'm going to use some tongs um, and we're just going to. Loosen off the the tissue just to see if she's she's in there and she's she's doing all right. Pretty can already see it, so. So, so we get there. Nice look. A pretty little thing. Mm. There you go. Do you want to? She's in there. Okay, and very carefully. Watch it. And then we go. I should stick on the edge now. Perfect. Okay. That's T number one. And there you go. Right, let's go with HMAC next. The thing with Heteroscoda macular is they are an old world species. So they do have a habit of being defensive and they are very fast. So 
So you opened her up, you've had a look, you made sure she's healthy and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So what you can do now is pop the tissue into the enclosure with her in it mm -hmm. and try and leave it to, like, so it's a little bit more accessible. She's facing your way at the moment. So there you go. She's she's out pretty much. All right, just hold it there for a sec. Ready? There she goes. Ooh. She's quick. Mm, she's up under the. Oh, yeah, I see around, her. You see? Yeah. Just. Just here. Yeah. Sorry, zooming in with this is not a very good picture. This is her bum, just here. But she is just there. So yeah, the enclosure is slightly on a large size for her. However, it won't hurt. Right then, two down. One to go. One of the things I love the most about the Nero Holothaliensi is they're very, very heavy webbers. So after a little while, they'll make a really, really nice, heavily webbed up enclosure, which is why if you have a look at the inside of the enclosure that was done for her here, there's enough substrata for her to dig in in the bottom, but also you've got plenty of sticks and other bits and pieces that are poking up out of the substrata for her to attach web to. Um, they're also quite a popular communal species, so there's the possibility of adding a male in there later on um, and then kind of just letting it, you know, do its own thing let the babies hatch out if she uh, produces an egg sack and start a little communal in there because the parents and the children will live together quite happily um, you know as they go on some people have had limited success with um, neoholotheli communals but they are quite a good communal species providing you don't give them too much space um, and you provide them with plenty of food okay then and they're also a dwarf species, which is one of the reasons why Sarah loves them so much. This is an adult female, so as you'll see, compared to most most species of tarantula, she's very, very small for an adult female. Incy, incy there and there you go dear you want to give her another little nudge No one escaped. <laughs> Everyone's happy. There you go. So how do you feel for your first time? Yeah. I mean, I know you didn't do it all on your own. You had a little bit of assistance, but... No, it was cool. It was so good. It's very different doing it yourself than watching someone else do it, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially when I know some of them can... Well, one in particular can be a little bit grumpy. <laughs> Welcome, I'm glad you enjoyed them. 
So I'd say that was a successful first unboxing and uh, initial housing for my wife there. Um, bless her, she loves the hobby. She really does enjoy watching me unboxing, rehoming and all that sort of stuff. But it's the first time she's had an opportunity to do it herself because I'm normally too eager to jump in and do everything on my own. Um, however, she's decided she wants to take a little bit more of a, a physical interest and get used to doing a little bit more hands-on as well. So, no, I think she's done really well there. So these are our new birthday presents. We've got the Heteroscoda maculata, the Togo Starburst, beautiful old world arboreal species. Um, very defensive, very fast, uh, super, super hunters and predators. Um, and they're amazing fun to watch when they're chasing stuff around. Beautiful sort of black and white monochrome markings on them as they get older. Um, so keep your eyes on it as this one develops. This one grows up, we featuring in some of the future feeding videos. Uh, then we've got the little Carabina Versicolor, which is without a doubt one of her favourite species. Uh, not least because as an adult they tend to be a little bit pink and fluffy, literally. Um, so the Carabina Versicolor, Martinique Pink Toe or Antilles Pink Toe, depending on um, your sources. Um, used to be a Vicularia Versicolor. Uh, this is only a tiny little sling, um, as you can see there, but loads and loads of growing to do. So the colours on these when they're babies are absolutely phenomenal um, you'll see when we do some of the close-up feeding videos later on absolutely fantastic metallic turquoise blue color and as they progressively get older they get a metallic green carapace and metallic sort of pinkish colored hairs on the rest of their bodies and they are without a doubt one of the most outstanding looking um, new world arboreal species in the game um, and also a very very fantastic beginner species because they're relatively placid um, not overly fast what they do tend to do is the defense mechanism is poop in your direction and they're quite accurate with it as well um, but yeah beautiful so keep an eye on this one as it grows and then finally we had the neo holotheliensi the trinidad olive um, as I said before, this is a dwarf species. They don't get very big. In fact, as you saw with that one, that's an adult female. Um, she's probably about six centimeters leg span max. She's probably not going to get uh, any bigger than that at all. So we'll potentially be looking for a male to introduce to her at some stage in the near future once she's uh, been, you know, uh, kept in here for a little while, had good feed, and um, we, she's molted. So we've got a good idea of. Uh, making sure from the molt that she's sexually mature and also that you know she's um, not going to molt out straight after a, a pair. So yeah, overall fantastic. Um, so in terms of uh, the box from Bitey Things, very, very well packaged, really impressed with the packaging, um, spot on. Everything was as it was described. I thought the HMAC potentially was going to be a little bit smaller than we were expecting it to be, but it wasn't. Uh, so really pleased with that. Um, everything arrived healthy in really good condition packaging was uh, first class um, and they were posted as I said it was my wife's birthday yesterday because of the bank holiday uh, so yesterday was Tuesday because of the bank holiday they couldn't post it until Tuesday so it arrived today um, so we're doing the unboxing the day after her birthday um, but you know it's, it's it's still a birthday present and you know it got here as early as it could um, so yeah fantastic job from the from from bitey things i'll put a link in the description below if anybody wants to go and check out their website um this isn't a sponsored video at all we purchased the spiders from there um as with all the other ones that you've seen me unbox and stuff so far so keep your eye out on future videos because the next unboxing video we'll be doing will be uh in about a week's time um and that will be um a mystery box from a company called Creatures from the North who are based in Northern Ireland. I've heard some extremely good things about these guys. Um, so I'm looking to get my second mystery box and I've chosen these guys to buy it from. So watch this space for some unboxing from those guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to leave us a comment um, in the bottom. Even if you uh, feel like you wanna come up with some names potentially for some of these guys, please feel free to put a comment in, suggestion names for these little guys. Um, and we'll have a look through after we've had a few suggestions and we'll pick uh, the correct names, uh, the names that we like, and we'll have them put on the front of their enclosure so you'll see those in future videos. Um, we'll also tag you at the end of the video when we've decided what the name's gonna be. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to leave us a comment, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe.